Alright, first and foremost, giving all praises and all glory to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rakakadash. The Lord and the Apostles and the Elders that do rule by that great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. To Shalom to the humble and sincere Sishin out there as well. To the Brother Kalam, the Brother Kwara, to the German Shah Kim, which come to prophesy the words, push the words of the Mosai Yahweh in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You know, this lesson, you know, be entitled, you know, it troubles are the door of the unrighteous. You know, because they be seeing things stirring up. You know, we see in the prophecies, you know, he popping off like popcorn right now. You know, and hey, we're gonna see, you know, hey, who God is great. Because there's only one power, one living power that he's hey, gonna save, you know, you know, out of the situations we're gonna come. There's only one God could do that. You know, and his name is Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai. You know, none of these gods are not gonna be able to deliver in the time of famine. You know, in the time of you know, destruction and the time of chaos because it, it at your door, it at, it, it at hands. You know, we see in anyway, the rumors of war, you know, we see in anyway, the, the economy you know, about to collapse. <coughs> you know, it's just a matter of time. You know, the first scripture on everyone here is Ezekiel 14, verse 13. You know, because hey, if the, the Lord give, you know, law, statutes, and commandments, you know, for me to live. You know, and for we to avoid punishment, you know, to govern the land, you know, to govern, you know, you know, how things must go, you know, but you see the, you know, the world out of course, you know, it's not, you know, they, they, they ain't following, you know, the, the foundation, yeah, you know, Basham, you know, said, you know, the, the so-called white man, you know, he, he, he against the Lord, you know, that why the Lord say, you know, they are enemies, because wherever the Lord set, you know, they are against that to do their own thing. You know, the world is given into the hands of the wicked. <laughs> Alright. Right. Book of Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 13, it say, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Yeah, when the land sin it, because when you're reading, um, it's either First King seventeen or Second King seventeen. When you know when, when the when the Lord was angry with Israel, you know, and he he removed them out of his sight, you know, and they bring, you know, a men from Babylon and cut and you know all these places and place them into the land. They didn't know the the custom, and the God of the manna of that land, and they were doing evil, you know, and what did the Lord do? He sent lions amongst them, which slew them. Right? So hey, when the land sin it, you know, hey, the Lord gonna hey, he gonna send his judgment upon it. Because the Lord set that order, he set that standard, you know, how we how we supposed to, you know, deal with things, you know, how we supposed to live, you know. He set these things as guidelines. Right? So you see, you know, hey, this world, you know, hey, is in wickedness, the land sin it. Because the scripture, you know, the Lord set that foundation, you know. Hey, Man and man and man is abomination unto the Lord. You know, and we see and these things are going on into the land. You know, woman with woman, you know, with bestiality, you know, they're pushing this 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 wicked agenda, you know, they're dealing, you know, unjust. There's only wickedness in the land. So this is where the Lord gonna bring forth his judgment in this place. But if you read verse 14 and say, though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it. They should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, say the Lord power. Yeah. So, <laughs> them chosen them chosen men now, boy. Right? So when this destruction come, a remnant will be saved. You understand? Those that were predestinated to be conformed to the image of the Son would receive other salvation. You know, because even if like like you watch Noah, Noah was there in the flood. But what happened to him? He was placed in the ark. He and, and his family was placed in the ark. There was another protection. And the ark right now is Yahweh Shai. He is the protection, you know. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the protection. And certain men and the household will be placed under that protection. But the remainder of you that want to continue to be wicked and the remainder of the tutors, you know, that want to continue to run after Esau, you know. 
you gonna be outside the arcade, son. Yeah, we just had the day and what, just okay. how, how it was, you know. And it gonna be too late, you know. Mm. When they when they see it, hey, it gonna be too late, <laughs> you know. And and these words are true, you know. The prophecies are true. <laughs> Why you got Jeremiah two T? That was four. Book of Jeremiah chapter thirty verse four. And these are the words that the Lord speak concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And not of peace. No, your Basham Shai come in not to set peace here, but a sword, destruction. Because anyway, the land sin it. You know, people wicked as hell. You know, and they need they hate need to be purged out. You know, and that's how the Lord, you know, does remove evil from 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 Israel, put put them to death. God. That's how it does remove the evil. You know, blow the candle. God. You see where the golden calf in the wilderness. <laughs> he said, "Well, who stand for the Lord?" And you know, who believe in this golden calf? And when he created that separation, wait, say they proceeded to then kill woman, man, mother, father, daughter, yeah. son. Yeah. Right and purge out all the evil that was mingling in the good. So that's how that's how the most side does deal. That way he got that is the same thing he do back then. He can do it now. Yeah, he's not gonna sift, sift, sift them out. He can you know? So I mean, all even though all Israel will be saved, all Israel ain't gonna get saved now. Only the righteous out of Israel will be saved because the brothers were saying. Yahweh Shai knew who he died for. He knew that he died for the nation of Israel. But he died for the elect. You yeah. understand? He kill he know he knew that a hey, this that type the sacrifice, they're gonna have some men that are gonna believe in the sacrifice. And they're gonna be conformed to, to my image, which is to be conformed to the image of the Heavenly Father. He knew that. It was now he knew it was now worthless sacrifice. That is the love he knew that they were had to do this because they have men in the destiny they, they would be conformed to me. You understand? And, and he died for them. Okay. So again it is about the elect. Them is the ones that will be preserving in this fire. Cause the fire is coming through all the four corners. Farming not just gonna come in yeah. one part of the earth. Yeah. It will be a global farming, it will be a global destruction. And wherever the elect dwell, whether they be on the west, the north, the east, the south, wherever they are on the earth, wherever famine, wherever sorrow, great destruction come, those men would persevere through it. You understand? And will overcome it through the blood of the Lamb. Can a uh, quick precept here, Baba Kosha. Mm-hmm. Um, second Ezra 16, verse 39. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 39 Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side On every side, you know, <laughs> to the four corners of the earth um, You know, so it's not going to be happening, you know, on just one part alone mm-hmm. No, a hey, wickedness, you know, hey, surround the whole world is wickedness um, you know, all these nations, you know, they drink the wine of fornication. Mm-hmm. You know, you see, you see, we can the, 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 four, the four points. <laughs> right? And it's it going to come upon every side. None yeah. shall escape. It's going and come upon every side. Yeah, so it's not just. <coughs> no, mainly, it will be mainly in Babylon because if you want to have a chart of wickedness, Babylon is on top, you understand? Babylon is first in terms of wickedness. Be, because that is how they. I mean, Esau dwell, you understand? Know, the whole earth is given into Esau, I don't know, but like that, that the capital of he, of he, he kingdom, you understand? Know, that the capital of his wickedness. Yeah, the foundation of his wickedness. <laughs> so they, that way they will feel it the most, that way the most destruction will be, but they'll think that they wouldn't have peril in the, in the Caribbean. You people are just say God is a tree, you understand? Know, and nothing going to happen to Trinidad. You have another thing coming. It coming to, to the islands, it coming to South America, Central, Europe, Africa, every every continent, everywhere that evil dwell, these plagues come in. 
as simple as that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what can you share, Maya? Titi. Yeah, Titi. Five round, yeah. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5. For thus say the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? <laughs> yeah, God. Say, alas. For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yes, the Lord saying in that day it is great. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, we know how 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 your Abasha and Shai does get down. We know how he, you know, how 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 he does work. You know that is why you know the scripture say you know, hey, you know we 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 know the fear, we know the terrors of your Abasha and Shai. You know we, that why we persuade men. You know, to turn back, you know, to your Abasham your shy, you know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, terrible. The Lord is a man to fear, you know. So the Lord, you know, it's going to be dread. It's going to be a crucial, right? Or you turn back. And the apostles and them were saying this phrase, that phrase, Jacob's trouble, there's nowhere else in the Bible but here now in Jeremiah 30. So that's true, you know, they say happy me. A lot of Jacob's trouble wasn't in Egypt, you understand? Jacob's trouble was no Babylonian captivity, no Persian captivity under the hands of the Greeks and the Romans and things. So even, you know, the transatlantic slave trade. And to prove that, verse 9 it say, But they shall serve the Lord their power, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. We not serving Yahweh the, the nation of Israel in serving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And we, David, where is, where is David? You understand? David ain't set up, you know, on the throne. So this ain't happened yet. They ain't not, they's not talking about the transatlantic slave trade. You understand? Jacob's trouble is coming. And it will be much worse than slavery. It will be yeah. much worse than the Egyptian bondage. It will be greater than all those things. So you niggas continue to play the fool and see see where is your destiny. Because what, as I always say, what could be greater than slavery? You understand? Transatlantic slave trade. What could be worse, than, a worse fate than that? Everything you could think about them doing, they do. You understand? Uh, that was fierce. Can. So imagine <laughs> with the Lord talking about here. Mm-hmm. You know, great. They, 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 they the terrors. God. They the terrors. <laughs> you know? Yes, it can just 15, it's 19. Can I can bring that? Go ahead. Second is just 15. It's 5. Can no. second is just fifteen verse four. It say, "For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, the famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, Can. and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And their hurtful <laughs> works are fulfilled. <laughs> Not maybe, you know, are <laughs> fulfilled. Right? For the ungodly boy. God. Right? You all want to continue to do evil. And the scripture say, you know, it's not because grace are born, or they're going to continue in evil. God forbid. Right? And there's, you know, you know how these churches set up, you know, in wickedness and idolatry. Right? To teach you all to continue to do evil that the Lord's done away with. You know, we do have to abide by them thing again that the Old Testament, the Lord done. You know, he, he don't die for that already. You know? And all they continue to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Hmm. You know, making it out like a mockery. You know? They the consequences all they're gonna face. This 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 great day that coming. Um, I tell you, Jake Jake the realizing it. Okay, yes, I mean all they don't deal with faith. So all they can see it yet, so all they all they studying it. All they only get concerned when things really in all their face. You understand? Jake all they 
the so called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, we don't really understand what come in. The scriptures say they Jacob's trouble, you, know? you understand? If this, this destruction falling upon the whole earth, but Jacob's trouble, the scriptures say that the judgment will begin at the, at the house, house of Jacob. Jacob, you understand? Israel peace coming to us, you know? not just two thirds, the, the, the Israel. Whether I be righteous or unrighteous, things come into we, you understand? And if you continue to think there's a game, man, all you don't want to heed unto the words of the Lord. The scripture said the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You understand? And all the time survive a good three hours without eating anything. Yeah, what about Jake does be? You know? When when a little hunger take them, you know? So much less <laughs> a when this crisis starts, you know, and yeah. it had no food in these storehouses. They're going to be like beasts. When I on but work, when I on work and so like, when I on work and a boy lunch to five minutes late. Yes, and men will kill the supervisor, men, men ready to, to trip off. So imagine if you don't have a choice to eat, you understand? Know, it's not like you know you're fighting to go and buy some, you have nothing to buy, you understand? Know, so imagine how they will how they will behave. Yeah, watch out watch out what behaving when you know when it had a shortage of toilet paper and, san- and, 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 and sanitizer. They want to kill each other in the groceries. Mm. You know, to get the last roll, last bill of toilet paper and these Can. things, you know. You know? And it had other ways they could have cleaned themselves, eh? Yeah. So it's not like toilet paper was the only thing. And you know, hand sanitizer was the only thing. So you bubble like, die in a food, you understand? Know, it had alternatives to, to toilet paper and to hand sanitizer. But it have no alternative to food, you understand? This year they eat. And they will have nothing to eat. And they will have they will not clean water, you understand? Some people will say they can they can only drink bottled water. They can, they can drink pipe water by eating. We have pipe water for you to drink, you understand? Much less the bottled water. And I really ponder that the Lord can say here yeah, gonna make rainfall for about two weeks. On top of nothing to eat, you understand? What, what gonna take place then? No food, no water by force. How are you gonna survive that unless you are your bash me out shy? The second is just fifteen verse nineteen. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yes, a man eager had no pity upon his neighbor because it's what will come in. Right? The death and destruction coming, pain coming. Right? Because they all the transgress against your Bashem and continuing it. You know, you think, well, I don't, it, I don't, but when you want this place, there's no love again. There's no love in this place. Hmm. Right? I want to quick reset for me again, Matthew 12, 24, 12. Right. Right. Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cool. Yeah, the love of many going and wax cool. A man going and study to say, yeah, boy, that, is, that was my neighbor, but me and he good. <laughs> You're mad, is your neighbor <laughs> self coming to kill you. Can. It's your neighbor <laughs> self coming to take your possession because of hunger, because of starvation. You know, hey, none of them ain't really know, you know, it's really to be hungry. Like, when you be hungry, it's them demons, them, hey, and you, hey, you, boy, <laughs> you gonna be like, by anything. Can. Scripture show hey, they're gonna be eating the children, they're gonna drink blood. These things were gonna come. And I just share too. The idea, the prideful, when you're prideful and you're boastful, you're really setting up yourself for a fallen. Because let me say you're boastful, you're telling people I have real money thing, I have real land, I, you know, all this possession. In these last days, then go remember my way, boy. This man has real land, you know, the man has real crop, the man has real money. He, he on top. Die the man, you understand? We had to go to now for we to survive. So what do you think going to happen? All that pride and all that boasting and come back onto you. And they'll ravish your household, you understand? Yeah. And take all the possession that you was boasting about. Yeah. Why? Because they, it going on nothing in these groceries. The shelves yeah. them going on be empty. You know? 
So when a man see you having a little thing, you still having a little food. Hey, just now, just now, people who had to cook food without any taste, without a hey, calorie, the calorie smell go outside. <laughs> you had to block up your house, not to let us that, that scent go outside. Mm. Like when when they got smell that, yeah, boy, that man cooking, yeah, boy, it's a food by he, boy, yeah. Let me deal with it. When you're hungry, as a survival instinct, is certain parts of your brain that's kicking. They just say like. I think it's your prefrontal cortex, I like your logical part of your brain. That has had to die down. You understand? And the instinct does had to kick in. The other yes. part of your brain. So your senses is be able to see better, smell better, because your body will food. Anything to hunt or anything to find. So as you see, the littlest whiff yeah. <laughs> of something cooking. They will pick it up. Yeah, man, you can smell that and say, yeah, boy. See that house there? Like them are them are stuck, boy. Let me yeah. look to invade them. Let me look to raid them. And these things are gonna come. Mm. You know. Yeah. Second Ezra six, two. Second Ezra chapter six verse two. Twenty two. Twenty two. So like yeah. It say and suddenly shall the sown places appear on soon. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which even which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Yeah, but that that we they they we gonna come long too. Okay. Right, a man is gonna have, you know, no pity upon his neighbor. You know, the love of many shall wax cold. You and this man was good before, you know. <laughs> you and the man, this man was legit before. But because of that instinct to survive, okay. you got different man towards your neighbor. You know, you and he ain't good no more. You know, because he, he might just have enough to feed his family. Okay. If he even not study your family, he trying to keep his family <laughs> alive. So he ain't gonna want to share his goods to okay. give you something because he, that's all they have. They just to sustain his family. And by instinct too. As you say with his family. No matter how the body does what watch sex is what it does af- to reproduce him, to keep your line going. So he instinct telling he boy, if I give this man the share what my family had again, them when go on. My seed when go on. And then that that go kick in that that defensive mode for the flesh where forget neighbor, forget friend. I had to survive first, you understand? And whoever whoever around me, my family ever had to survive after me. And everybody outside of that is wherever survival to the fittest. Yeah. Then it say, yeah, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Then I had to believe watching the work, the workplace. Niggas will fight each other, you understand? And become enemies for a position. Yeah. To go up in the company and think they will step over one another like that crab in a barrel mentality. They already do that, they've been doing that. So where things go happen when all the necess- all the necessities get taken away from them. And that position thing it wouldn't have no position in a company. Big we position in su- surviving. They will step over each other the same way. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Can yeah. hey. Hey, hell come in. Can all hell go and break <laughs> loose. You know, it just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. You know, it patience, you know, it, it will come. You know, the Lord say, you know, his word is not going to return on them void. Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. Second is 16. Chapter 22. Second is chapter 16, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Yeah, so many of them. Right, that is, they are, they are a great number. Okay, there are billions of people on the earth. <laughs> yeah. You know, and there's only a, a portion. Uh, scripture saying, um, I think it's Zachariah, Zachariah 13, if you know that. Mm-hmm. The two, the two, the two thirds. Zachariah chapter 13, verse 8, and it shall come to pass. That in all the land say the Lord. You see, you see, the Lord. Remember, we, we, we now read it in Ezra that the plague is going to come upon every side. Okay. Right? Go ahead. That in all the land say the all Lord. All the lands. <laughs> so it's not just going to come in one part, but in all the lands. Okay. Go ahead. 
two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yeah, so for many. Second address, 1622. Right, go back in it. Second Ezra 16 verse 22 For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy shall the sword destroy so many of them let the multitude perish they were hey, they all your bashim shai gonna deal with all yeah because we're wicked as hell only refuse to turn back from all their wickedness God. you know all these things they really Lord doing, you know, a dilemma we like, you know, like this is for correction, to correct we for we to turn from our wickedness. But some of, some of them say we will not happen. <laughs> <laughs> they will mm. not happen. You know, I want to tell you, I can precept. Mm. Read through that down verse 23 it says, And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. Mm -hmm. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. Said there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. So, you see how oh yeah, you wake up, you know, you have to wake up, you have to reach to work for six or reach to work for eight. It's not going to have that. You know, it's not going to have you coming to work and clock in your car and thing. Those places are going to be, either, if they're still standing, they're going to be desolate. And if they ain't standing, they're going to be crumbled down on the ground. And then to prove that, what your verse 27 says, says, So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. So that is where it's coming in. Uh, when they say there shall be no man left to tell you, they're not going to have no jobs. You understand? You not you going to be out of a job. You understand? <laughs> it and if you're out of a job, how you gonna how you gonna survive? How you gonna take care of yourself with no income? You understand? No job mean what? No electricity, you understand? Yeah. No food. And then your car no no gas, you understand? Your car going out of gas? No gas. Days where it's coming in. Yes, hey, that going not bug out a lot of men. Uh, that going not bug them out because they, they don't, you know, they don't adapt to the system already. They don't get joined to the system. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, they can't do it without it. There's, there's life to them, you know. You know, a phone and all these things, there's, there's part of the, the, the daily life. So these things being stripped away and these things, hey, you could see the chaos it's going on cause. Uh, imagine, you know, no... No electricity, your phone will last so how long? They will dead, you understand? They can't charge it. So imagine how they will be where they can't contact each other. They can't talk on, because that people is talk on the phone for hours every single day. They don't have that no more. No TikTok, you understand? No Instagram, no WhatsApp. When all these things are taken away, no computer, no game, no nothing. You will go mad, you understand? Because you nothing to occupy your brain anymore. You have no income, you just going to be dead. Wondering how you going to yeah, survive. You going to stress out them demons, them plague in your mind. Hey, hey. But there's only one, you know, that can deliver you from that, which is your Basham, your shy. You know, and hey, the Lord, you know, he been sending out his prophet. The Lord been speaking to all you, you know. Mm. The Lord been giving, hey, the Lord doesn't do something just so. He does give warning first. Can, always. He, always. You know, the, the Lord is not a... An unjust man to say, you know, hey, let me deal with them one time like that. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. No, it's order. Right? They to show, they to show the mercy of your Basham, your Shai, you know. The Lord has sent out the prophet, hey. go and speak to them. Right? You can get a uh, precept, get Jeremiah 6. Um, start at 60. Um, start at 17. Okay. Look at Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 17. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Yeah, they said, We will not hearken. <laughs> like, like we all day, you know, we, um, we went out there when it was Monday to do the work. You know, and with the guy passing, he can't say. You're wasting me time. You're wasting me time. 
Right? You know the the score for the score for us. Even the next man with the, the, the two puppies in the in the box, he woke up to us and he say he had, he's selling two puppies and he now saved their life. So I tell him I say, why you don't save your own life? You understand? Why you don't come and try to save your own life? You know, they refuse the word. He ain't wanna hear this word, he ain't wanna hear the word. And you see how it have a, a, a saying saying um like like beat first, ask questions later, the Lord don't move so. You understand? He's really the opposite way. He come and here, he, he let you know. Through his servants, the prophets, he, he carry his voice all day. He let you know hey, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what you have to do. And if you care if you can abide by that, then destruction will come. He come and warn you and letting you know that hey, this road that you walking down leads to calamity. Warning you, you know, to turn back onto him. But no, we say we will not hearken. So then you go out and get the licks, you understand? You go out and get the beatings. Because you're really going to the foundation of this truth. It's simple enough. Fear Yahweh Shem Yahushai and keep his law, statutes, and commandments. It's simple to have faith in the Lord, to trust in the Lord, to be obedient unto the Lord and do all that he says, you understand? Whether it be in the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Apocrypha, Whatever the Lord command, that that He do, and that is it. You understand? That that the foundation just to be obedient, and then you build from there. But we will not happen. Jake do what hear this truth at all. You understand? Jake will sit down and watch a series. Holy, you understand? Beat off the series. Whole day Jake watching series, but upon half a ten minute video, that brother talking now. Nah. Two minutes he knew done yawning, you understand? You had to take off that video. That is the kawaii, all the love wickedness. So all the flesh just run into wickedness, destruction and all them things. All the work get plugged into the truth. All the work stay plugged into the, to this matrix. Okay, continue. Verse 18 it say, Therefore here ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. Here, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. Yeah, so the Lord gonna bring evil. You know, so all these things that the Mosai what the Lord gonna bring famine, all these things that the Mosai saw. <laughs> they what the Lord gonna bring, get back second Ezra sixteen um nineteen, start at nineteen. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse nineteen, it says, Behold, Famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Yeah, so they ain't good. Two thirds so rebellious as hell. That's why the Lord said, No, he stretched out his hand unto a rebellious people, lying children, disobedient. Right? Scripture show you that in a way. Um, um, to, to listen is better than sacrifice, right? Obedience is better than sacrifice. But hey, they not obedient, they want to listen. Because the scriptures we show here, right? But they will not turn from the wickedness, right? I read not reading in, in, in Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 6, right? They say they will not hearken unto the watchmen and them. So when they not hearken unto the watchmen and them, is they not hearken unto Yahweh Bashami or Shai? Because they is the Lord speaking to them. So the saying, boy, we will not hearken unto the Lord. The Lord. Right? So they is way to tell they are going to die. Because they reject life. Right? Then you know it's simple. If you reject life, that means you accept death. You know? you understand? <laughs> and that that is what coming death, and that will already deserve. You understand? These are righteous judgment being executed by our Bashim Yahushai because only I get one for a day. You, know? you understand? If you really go into the spirit into history, how much warnings Israel really receive? You understand? How much time, boy? Even in the wilderness, and they just show. It's nigga, it have to be it have to be niggas and it? it had to be the so-called blacks, Hispanics and natives is the Israelites in it. 
Imagine the Lord take all the for me, Dre boy. Surely I'm miraculous part the Red Sea thing. Or they go imagine going through the sea and not drop of water fall on anybody. You understand? The, the sea bed itself dry. Or they reach in safe on the other side. And then when Pharaoh come in, the Lord close it back up and thing. And after all of that, men still saying it better, you did leave we in Egypt. You understand? Die Jake. <laughs> die die what die is what niggas does say. You understand? That alone could prove boy that we is the Israelites. And a, a man rescue watch how you get re- rescued in a miraculous way. You understand? Yeah, yeah. The Lord the Lord take with the lambs the lambs blood on the doorpost and thing. You ain't bowling in Egypt. Women waking up to the firstborn dead. And your children are safe. You understand? All that you see. All the locusts. The frogs, all the plagues, hitting Egypt, killing the cattle, you see all them things, and all they're safe, you understand? <laughs> you see, you see me, hey, without even counting the Red Sea, you, know? you see all these things, and a little piece of pain come, and say, boy, you better is, you leave you in Egypt, you understand? Carry back, carry me back to Pharaoh. There are no, there are no gratitude, <laughs> you know, for hey, what this man did for all your boy. <laughs> you know? Hey. I telling us, niggas just move so, you understand? Men just say, I, I, I love to work, you understand? You love to work for the so-called white man, you know? You take your job serious, you that man love to give your all unto Esau Edom. That is as, that is known as a slave, you understand? That is, that is, that is house niggas, you, you call them. And that's how it is, you know? The house niggas, the field slaves on them, never used to think the way the ones inside would think. Because they would think the privilege, the privilege them with Masai, you understand? Them going to serve him, them are working hard in the field. And it's so today, you know, niggas who are so called money, you understand? But it's really minimum wage. They does not think like the, the Jakes who who in more poverty than them. They just think with privilege, they think that they're entitled. They just love the system more because they feel like the system. You know, helping them now, boy. Care about them. Yeah, that kind of thing. So them will be like house niggas. Then we want to give the all to the system or get it all to the company, cause they feel the company care about them. But you would know, you understand, that in slavery, them house niggas used to feel it worse. Cause when massa get vex, who he beating up? He wife, the children no. He going and beating up you for nothing, you understand? He trip off, he use his punching bag. That is the so-called white man, you understand? That is so you don't feel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sirach 39, 28. Because Sirach chapter 39, verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, in the time of destruction, they pour their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, so they were spirit created with vengeance, even throughout slavery too. Okay. You know, the wicked, which is the so called white man, that is the most I saw. Mm-hmm. Right? And it did lay strokes on me. <laughs> you know, and it okay. pees the wrath of him that made it. Because they were the Lord say, you know, we're going to come to all your follow, you know, and listen to me. You know, you're going to send a nation against all you. Where's going and cut all your tail? Right? You know? But this time, you know, these spirits were coming. Continue. It's 29. It's a fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Yes, yeah, so they, these are the, these are the spirits now. They were coming to cut all your ass. Right? These are the things that were made for vengeance. It's a teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Punishing who? <laughs> the wicked the to wicked. destruction. They were going to do it. Punish the wicked. All of them that turn from your bash from your shy ways. Right? All they're going to be punished. Right? Hey, the Lord ain't going to deliver all you. Right? What the Lord going to deliver you for? You ain't want to get your, you ain't want to get your act together. Use, mm-hmm. use straw free for, use waste of time. You want to do your own thing? All right, go do your own thing. Save yourself. Go and save yourself. You can do your own thing. Save yourself. What are you calling me for? Okay. Because this is what's going to happen. A lot of them going to, hey, 
When they see the destruction, now they want to call Lord, Lord. Yeah, now they want to say, oh, shy, oh, shy. <laughs> when they see water more than flower here now, you know, yeah, boy, oh, God, but that man would say, Lord, oh, God. Now you want to know, now you go want to know the name? Mm. Now all you go want to know the name? When the prophet been out there speaking the name? All you want to know what kind of, what kind of, what kind of name is, what kind of name is that, boy? That kind of voodoo name is that kind of thing, all they come around me with, boy. Boy, the name is Jesus Christ, boy. Is that the name, boy? You see how that song is better than that name? Yo, yo, was shy, boy. I tell her, time, I watching, they had, they had a big the, the depiction of the, the Messiah, the true depiction. So they show any girl, Caesar, and she say, she said, that is my Lord, with all the horns, right? <laughs> she said, this is my Lord here with all the horns. So when they pull out the, 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 the so-called black depiction, she said, nah. She said, that can't be my Lord. Watch how ugly that thing is, you understand? Yeah. So when them see that, you understand? When them see your house was shy, you really come down. Some of them will be amazing. Because huh? them are looking for that. Them looking for, for Caesar. Them looking for, for blue eyes, blonde hair and thing. When them look up and see a man who looking like them, a fierce countenance, you understand? Yeah. They will be amazed. And then they go click back in the head, wait now, boy. That was his sign I see on this corner of the street where the men was holding up and yeah. saying this man named Yahweh was shy, look, look at me a thing. But it will be too late. You know, a man's skin will, you know, like brass burning a furnace. Yeah. Dark skin. You know? And because, hey, if, if, if two thirds, you know, they re, they rejecting their the own self because a lot of them bleaching out the skin. Yeah. A lot of them don't like the, the color of the complexion. I know in the, comp- the color, your complexion is the complexion of your Lord. <laughs> so when they see our shine, they, they reject you, boy. Boy, we want you, boy. Go and bleach your skin, boy. <laughs> we want a part of you. Can. They reject the self. And they, hey, they, will, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will reject the Lord. Because you see, if you hate how you look, you are shy, because I Israelite. So he's look like you. He's a Israelite. He's a Israelite. So he will look like you, like we. And it say, it didn't say just brass. You know? It say brass burnt. If you put anything in a furnace, you understand? Know, it's come out dark, like it's come out black, you understand? Know, and that's how his feet was. See, he was a very dark skinned man. Yeah, you can see that is how he whole body was. Because yeah, when they read in, when they read in um, I think it's in Daniel. Um, but you see, um, his arms and his feet was like in color to polish brass. Can, yeah, so yeah, if yeah. his arms <laughs> and his feet like in color to polish brass, because that would I could have seen because he had only he, he, he garment, he garment you know, so his hands exposed, you know, his he feet exposed. Mm-hmm. So his, if his hands, his arms and his feet were like in the color to polish brass, he gets his whole body in that color. And then he here is like wool. And what, what, where is here Jake saying? I will go and go, I will go with an Indian, I will go with a white woman because they don't lead for school. You understand? Yeah, they were in a pee They can. They don't lead for school. They don't have no nigga head child and thing. The way it makes with the hair could be soft. Yeah, I wish I hear in so called soft. You understand? He have an afro. You understand? He have, he have the hair we have. The same thing what is called coarse and that nigga dung and, and um. China dung. China dung and thing. You understand? China green. Yeah. That he here and his skin dark just like we own. But all they hate all they self, all they hate all his looks, all they go hate all the most I look. And how he son look too. Can. And that he saw do him. You understand? He saw have all they believe that he's beauty. When in fact he's the opposite because his skin lacking melanin. Yeah. He saw going on the beach. He saw the walk with his yeah. sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, then make sure he gears up on it. <laughs> you understand? But watch how he saw this look when he old. All can. Show, he saw this look scary. Watch how old he the might and see. Can. How the eyes of his look is actually see Satan in them. He's actually mm. see the devil. He's see the beast, the beast in them, boy. Can. Watch how them skin does look. Mm. Rotten a kind of way, boy. You know? Ter- terrible dream. I tell you, yeah. Yeah, Second Ezra 16, 74. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 74 It says here O ye my beloved say the Lord Behold the days of trouble are at hand But I will deliver you from the same Yes, yeah, so the days are trouble at hand But the Lord gonna deliver who? That who is not just anybody you know 
right? That who is the the lack? They who was pre done predestined to save. Mm -hmm. That that is the who the Lord talking about. You know, a, a remnant, a okay. portion, not the whole world, but a portion. Because hey, the Lord is only dealing a small amount. <laughs> Look back at the generations and see, hey, the Lord is going to deal with that small portion. Not a great multitude. Right? Because hey, he ain't need, he, he ain't need that, that great multitude to, to, to bring back. You know, he like what he used? He used hey, eight. It was no one's sons. He used their sons. Hmm. And, and populate back. So he ain't need that great, he ain't need, he ain't need that great multitude to say, no, yeah. Hey, you know, I going to be short in the, 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 the little bit of righteous I have, I got to bring in some wicked men in it too. See the scripture that say, he say he could take these stones and raise up children for Abraham. God, you understand? Yeah, niggas ain't nothing in it. Yeah, why you turn ashes so proud? <laughs> you know, so the Lord going to deliver the elect. He's going to deliver the righteous. And, it, and that is fairness, boy. Mm -hmm. That is fairness. Right? You're paying the work and you reap the benefits. Yeah, simple. But some don't want to pay in the work <laughs> and then want to reap the benefits. Come on, man. It don't work like that. Right? As scripture say, in a way, you know, Proverbs. I think it's Proverbs 28. To get that Proverbs. You come back to this precept. Mm. Pro Proverbs 28, verse 9. Proverbs 28, verse 9. He that turned it away is. Air from here in the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Yeah, so hey, it do work. It do work one side. Okay. If you turn away your air from here in your bash from your shy, but you want the Lord to do things for you, what you doing for the Lord? It do work like that. <laughs> and so, boy, as this truth, you really have to thank your bash from your shy. This truth, real simple, you know. You understand? Know, I tell you, like it real simple to understand what the Lord require from from israel you understand a covenant is just a two-side thing do i say and you know you receive eternal life you disobey man you receive that it's simple enough tell them what's in this and it's real simple you understand but for some reason boy that's why i say the ox know it is when he asks his master script you know? these animals that always called dumb all the lower than them you understand <laughs> <Imagine I ask. laughs> you know hey you know, hey, like I have, you know, I have a, you know, a, a two cat home, mm -hmm. you know, and hey, when I call, they just run to me, they're, they're coming to me, because they know the owner, they know the hands that does feed them, mm -hmm. they know, but Jake don't know the hands that does feed them, boy, Jake in all kind of thing but his own, yeah. you see them, they Jake serving all kind of gods, mm -hmm. they, hey, a Jake, I, you know, I know a Jake, you know, who in Hinduism, <laughs> who saying, you know, hey, that is, they spot a he prayers, they spot a he tradition. Mm. The Jake, you know, they know all kind of thing but their own. Yeah. You know? Let me go back in the second address. It's like, yeah. I will trade say to you now, verse 10, it say, Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. <laughs> so, Esau, Edom, you know, son, you are the ones that let our people to this state that day and today. They use the ones the Lord use. So the same way you wanna you dig a pit for them to fall into destruction, that the same pit you gonna fall into. Can. Those verse 75. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 75, it say, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for your how about Shemi Shai is your guide. Yeah, don't doubt, only believe. You know, if you the account them all day, you know, you don't, don't doubt that, you know, yeah, you know, if you're a Basham and going to deliver you or save you. Don't doubt, just believe. Only believe. Have faith in your Basham and Shai. He's a man of his word. You know? He's a man not a lie. You know? So, don't doubt. Don't be double mind. You know? Only believe. Because he, he he's a man, you know, he, you know, he, not to say to say in a way, I say something. He's not he's not a nigger. Can to say in a way, I promise this man something and he gonna break his promise and, mm -hmm. and set you up to say you know. But you know I forget you but I forget <laughs> to do that but you know, no. And the Lord say they were gonna come to the righteous. You know, they were gonna come. 
right? Go ahead. Let's see. Verse 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and, and precepts. And the guide of them who keep his commandments. But niggas running around here, but we are not the Lord. You know? We're not supposed to keep the commandments again. And the Lord don't die for that, you know. So that means that we like to do all they want them. That's what, you know. And they go, hey, hey, and there's why this place like this, you know. Because they remove the laws. That's why this place, you know, in chaos right now. That no love. Only wickedness. Right? So, you know, and and they glad he saw the gem that. <laughs> you know, they glad he saw the gem to know it. But we know under the covenant, we know under the law again. So, them glad, them in the glee to do evil. Because the wise to do that. Scripture said the wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Can. Yeah, but if I ever hear about Drake talking about you and the little man wife, the steps he went and take, you understand? <laughs> to get it done now, boy. <laughs> because you see, the wise in them, they had the they had real tricks, you understand? Know, on how to do evil. How, how, how to put on the adultery. How to do this thing in the closet or whatever. It's a real tricks. That as soon as it comes to the Mosai, all that zeal gone, you understand? Know, all that energy gone. Good. Mm-hmm. If was, so I read 76 it says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts say the Lord power let not your si- your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves yeah. will yeah. be good yeah, that is, okay. yeah. yeah I'm Joshua 1 verse 9 so we gotta you know we gotta hold strong the scripture say hold fast till he, till he come enjoy you know, you practice righteousness to your best abilities always. Yeah. You know, always remember, you know, your God is not mm-hmm. weak. Mm-hmm. Israel God is not weak. We don't, we don't serve a weak power. We serve an almighty power. That's why you get a title, the almighty. Okay. Yahweh. You know, he exists. He is that he is. Go ahead. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and have a good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Yeah, the Lord with the leg. The Lord say, you know, he, he, he in the figure the um, precept in um, Joel 2, 27. Book of Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your power. And none else. Yes, so in the midst of Israel, be not afraid. Mm-hmm. Neither thou be dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Wheresoever thou goest, the Lord mm-hmm. with thee. Yeah, the Lord with thee elect, the Lord with thee men. You know, the Lord has the angels them over, you know, the elect. Right? The angels in camp with, with them. You know, who love you, you have a your shy. You know, close off for this precept. Yeah, I'm slacking. I can bring all this. Go ahead. Uh. Um, the back of where you're saying it's first kings, I think. Yeah, a book of first kings, chapter 2, verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth, be thou strong, and therefore, uh, be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord thy power to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Yeah. So the scriptures say, whithersoever thou goest, you understand? As long as you stay faithful and obedient unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You be in a gear, you be in a aura, you understand? Yeah, whether I, whether you be in prison, mm-hmm. whether you be anyway, okay. your basha <laughs> mensha is with you, and you go to deliver you. Once you put your trust in your basha mensha, the scripture say that. Get get um. Tis ya tis. Sirak, two verse ten. Sirak chapter two verse ten. See, look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah. <laughs> who? Who? 
cool. Tell me that whoever put a trust <laughs> in the Lord, you know, and was faithful unto him, and he reject. Okay. You ain't gonna find that. You ain't gonna see that. All who put a trust in your Abba Shai, hey, the Lord, you know, he help. Mm-hmm. He help. And he, he deliver. Got to put trust in your Abba Shai, and he, he gonna do the same thing now in, in the latter days, in the latter time, in, the, in, this, in this time. Okay. He gonna do the same. He gonna deliver. You know? You know, with that, you know, we hope it was very fine. You know, we like to give all power and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'asham Yawashai, Ba'asham Kodash. We like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, who teach us truth through the spirit and power. Yahweh, Ba'asham Yawashai. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam Zemori, who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Kwara. Brother Kazam. You know, he's saying Shalom. Shalom.